It's obviously that we cannot eliminate COVID because we don't control it. I mean, it's right around the world. We don't control it. So with health and safety, you'd be aware of, you know, eliminate, minimise or isolate. We can't eliminate COVID. We've been trying. We've spent billions, tens of billions of dollars to eliminate something we can't. Now we've got this massive debt and COVID will continue to come back. So then what happens if it comes back the fourth or fifth time and you haven't got the money to spend what we've done before? We've actually already, all we've done is really delay COVID going through New Zealand. So we need to be looking at minimisation. Uh, prior to anyone arriving here, they've got to show that they've had a negative test three days prior, right? They have a test once they arrive uh, on, on the way of exiting. Yeah, it's our policy, yeah. So this policy is going to be released in the fullness of time. I'm just letting you know earlier. Um, and then what, what happens is, is that there's, um, if the, then they've got to self-isolate 14 days, self-isolate. If they've come from a country where the outbreak is uh, uh, quite rabid uh, and not in a containment mode, well, then they go into quarantining. So, so that's how you secure your borders, right, and make sure that all staff on the front line uh, are on a constant state of being tested. During this crisis, everything should have just been put on hold. I'm not saying never, but during this crisis, the best thing we could have done was look after our own first, and that's what I would have done. It's going to come to light that the information that our government is working on is, is it's faulty. It's wrong, it's incorrect. And people were saying back then, oh, you're just crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist, hey presto. Having our quarantine facilities in our largest economic centre is downright reckless. We need to be urgently looking at alternatives to site our quarantine and to allow that to scale up massively so that we can not only let all the Kiwis back into this country, but also so that we can make the most of this opportunity of being COVID free and doing that in a 100% safe way. So we need to scale up our quarantine facilities and to help pay for that, we need to be charging foreigners.